this thing on? Hey everyone, <clears throat> it's your boy Terry. This is my face now. This is my face now, especially after a tragic beard trim. I'm, I always cover the microphone, sorry. This is my face now after a tragic beard trimming accident this morning. Uh, so then it all just had to, to come off. Uh, I am out working with my friend Bob the Donut today. I'm already quite gross and sweaty because we just, just moved about 120 boxes of unused uh, magazines and coupons from the storage unit to the dump. So I'm already pretty wiped out and it is a little after 10. Um, we are this evening going to be in Ocean City recording uh, a test episode of our second podcast endeavor. It's going to be called The Undertow. Maybe The Undercast, something like that. That's Bob the Donut. Say hi, Bob. Hey, how are you? Who are we He's talking my about? employer for the day. My YouTube channel. Oh. So that's it. Just wanted to give a pop in. I know I've been neglecting the YouTube channel of late. Did I miss a spot here, Shaven? Sure, looks like I did. City jokes. So and uh, what about your razor? I, no swearing on YouTube, oh, please. Sorry. Not on my channel. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so I'm going to try to start getting back into making at least one video a day for the channel. Um, so you can all see the progress of your, my your face beard. and as I grow my beard back. Mm -hmm. uh, so working with Bob all day. Then uh, recording the Undertow podcast tonight. We are still working on editing the Cape May Stage podcast. We're going to try to have them both on the air by... Memorial Day weekend, which is only two weeks away. Uh, saw Rampage with the kids last night. I know it's getting... I really can't believe I missed a whole section of my mustache there. Thankfully, I'm not seeing anyone important today. <laughs> Bob and I go way back. We're like this. That's me over here. <laughs> That's and, uh, He's quick. Uh, saw Rampage with the... Uh, with the bookend boys, the oldest and the youngest yesterday. That movie's taken a lot of heat for being stupid, and it is profoundly stupid. Uh, but I'm not but quite fun, right? sure how much plot I'm looking for for a movie about a giant monkey, a giant gorilla, and a giant wolf attacking the city. It was just fine. What's the uh, motivation? It was... It... What's the Who, motivation? Whose channel is this, Bob? Oh, sorry. I'd like chime in. Tell you. Things I gotta work with here. Uh, for you... It's not the worst movie I ever saw. It's not particularly good, but it was two hours in the dark eating popcorn. Uh, so it's a pretty good way to spend a couple hours on what was a brutal Monday after a long weekend. As you all know, I had the karaoke Friday, then I had the Big Billy Joel show Saturday. Uh, and I spent Sunday screeching through my gig with Tim Joyce down at the Rice and the All. Thanks to everyone who came out and offered emotional and liquid support. That was uh, much appreciated. Uh, yesterday was kind of a day off wrote my uh, undertow column and took the boys to the movies and then I did about six loads of laundry. So, super dad. I should have a big S on my chest. The, the missus might tell you the S stands for something else, but we won't get into that right now. Anyway, uh, that's all. Pretty quiet week coming up. Uh, podcast recording, then just karaoke, then back at the nail on Monday for Acoustic with Tim Joyce. Uh, I said some mean stuff about him in my column this week, but it's, I don't mean any of it. You know that. Um, that's all. Uh, I'll try to chime in again tomorrow. And Oh, I am working on a new short story for Exit Zero. I want to have the whole thing... I don't want to fall into the traps from years of old where I send Chapter 1 to be published and I haven't written Chapter 2 yet. And you can write yourself into some point. Wow, I'm really round without my goatee. Uh, too many times fell into the trap of having a basic idea of what the story's gonna be, write a wonderful chapter one, and then realize, oh, smack, I gotta somehow finish this thing in four weeks. Uh, so I'm gonna write the whole thing before I submit it for publication. It is going to be an adaptation of my play that was called Sherlock Holmes and the Werewolf of London. That was a straight sort of murder mystery musical comedy. Uh, it's gonna have some elements of that, but I'm transplanting it to New Jersey. I'm gonna call it something like Sherlock Holmes and the, the Devil of Jersey or the Jersey Devil. I might keep the werewolf angle, I'm not, I'm just kind of getting through the first couple of chapters now. and uh, It won't be quite as humorous as the play was. And In the play, the Holmes and Watson are retired. In this, they're just at the beginning of their friendship. So it's just a, a loose uh, adaptation of that play. Um, just sort of using some of the same central themes and ideas. Uh, and so far, it's been very fun writing in the style, or as close as I can, writing in the style of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. I've read enough of those stories in the two years I spent writing Sherlock Holmes shows uh, to sort of get an ear for it. And the stuff I don't have a perfect ear for, I've 
sort of gotten good at faking. Um, it's an interesting style to write in, uh, and I'm enjoying it quite a bit, actually. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. I hope to have it completely written in two weeks and maybe hit publication, uh, maybe by Memorial Day. I think that'll make that my goal. All this stuff to happen on Memorial Day. Uh, so, um, I think that's it. I always usually do a Christmas story for the paper, so if you have any good Christmas story ideas that I can steal, send them along. Uh, that's it. Enjoy your day. I'll try to check in again tomorrow. And be good.